Hello, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer, and today, my friends, we are doing a 10 minute taster for Falconeer on the PC, a game I've wanted to play for a long time now, and finally, I get to give it a go. Looks fantastic. Um, never played it before, um, so I'm going to go straight into it. I'm going to give it a go and see how it pans out. I didn't actually mean to skip that intro sequence, but hey, we're where we are. The Falconeer. Press any button to continue. Right. Okay, difficulty, normal. Uh, okay, shall I have a look at controls? No, let's just learn as we go. Right, start. When we were young in this place, the Falconeers were messengers and guardians. They carried memories and spirits to the beyond. Now those origins are lost and their lives and memories are lost to battle. But you can learn from them, their memories soaring through the clouds above the seas. Let us find out what stories remain in these splintered fragments the currents have brought us. Hmm. Imperial Peak is the Imperial Seat the highest attainable seat in the Empire. Towering over Imperial Harbor and the Ursi, its inhabitants are blinded to the plight of those below. Only those who serve the Empress ever perch on its balconies or set foot on its marble floors. Chapter Preview. This is a brief introduction to the core flight mechanics and some of the mysteries of the world. The open world is closed as this is only an introductory prologue. Okay. Choose now what stories and memories await you. Ooh, la, what can la. be gleaned from these lives? Uh, Ensign Salad Mount. Okay. Ensign Phil. Ensign Talonsen. Ensign Joshua. Ensign Benedict. Ensign Salad Mount. Ensign Winfell. Talonsen. Joshua, right, okay, so, uh, this dude looks cool, right, okay, so, oh, I change the falcon, no, oh, okay. Choose now what stories and memories await you, what can be gleaned? Ascend now, Falconeer, ascend now, Falconeer. Right, Falconeer, do Attention applicants, your Empress needs you. <clears throat> With these incidents east of Dunkel and the freebooter threat, we have fallen on desperate times. If successful, you will be part of a new garrison at the Imperial Peak. Many of you will fail these tests. Only the very best can serve at this post. Today, we start with simple performance assessments for each of you. The Empress has an appointment at her Thunderstrike flagship at the exact time, so no wandering off or deviating from the flight plan. There will be repercussions if you do. Yikes. Right. Okay. Here we go. Good morning, Greenhorn. Let's see you fly that warbird. Start off with a slow dive. Chop, chop. Okay. I'm diving. diving accelerates your bird and generates energy for special maneuvers. Your bird is energized for dashes and rolls. Show me a strong dash. Oh. Oh, left bumper, sorry. Yeah. So if I go up and then go down, then left. Now let me see some evasive rolling. You can do this by dashing while turning. Whoop, pata. Dashing while turning. Hey! I'm all over the shop. <laughs> okay. Let's just try and be a bit more. Now I want you to do a flyby of the Imperial Harbor, recording its precise location. Travel to waypoint. Okay. How do I, if I go, any way of going faster? Oh, keep your hand on 
hell. At the next waypoint, we'll practice targeting and focusing. There is a barge up ahead. Find it and stay locked on. Very graceful game. Let's see, I think that bottom bit there shows me which way the wind's going on the map. There's like a wind um, marker by the looks of it. Look, if I veer to the left a little bit, then that wind is going to come across for me. Right, oh, here we go. Let's get this to lock on. The barge has a turret. Consider it a sub target. Lock onto that for accuracy. Um, okay. Target the turret component. Target. Oof. Oh, right, that. Am I trying to target that? <clears throat> I'm all over the show here. Target the barge turret component, okay. Yeah. Not bad. Now open fire, destroy the turret and the ship. Keep your eyes on the target for each part. How do I fire? Alright. Oh, Yikes. Got to be more delicate, I think, with my movements. Oh, look, there's like a mini tornado there. That will send me up. And I want to come down. Nice work. There Your we weapon go. is a valuable relic. Sweet. We'll need to recharge it from a nearby thunderstorm. Thunderstorms, eh? Right, follow the waypoint. As with any type of flying game, it always takes me a while to actually uh, get used to the the movement in the sky. It's specifically turning, sharp turns. I wonder if there's a way I can just sharp turn like back on myself or or whatever. Anyway, right, let's follow the waypoint. Gotta use the wind, I think. I think that's the key. Try and be gentle with my uh, movements. See if I can get through here, look. Right, okay. Let's go to the waypoint. Follow me, follow me, follow me now. We are with you! We protect our own! into the clouds to attract the lightning. At any sign of overheating, dive towards the ocean to cool down. Full ammo pots are glowing at the back of your bird. Perhaps you will make it to the guards after all. Not too shabby. Let's head back to the palace. Okay, so you kind of dive down to... Friendly fire, okay. So you kind of dive down to douse yourself with a bit of water to cool down if you're getting too heated in the old thunderstorm, okay. So if I just go up a bit... 
Warbirds near the Imperial flagship. Pirates, I'd wager. Weapons free. Use deadly force. Okay. Oh, here we go. I will hang your skull around my neck. Royal Flagship of Empress, Captain Willems. I'm trying to come round here. See if I can get into a good position. Oh, here we go, that's down here. Getting this a bit more now. Funny enough, I was playing Red Wings Aces of the Sky this week, and this feels kind of similar in a way. Movement's great though, I really like this movement. Now I've kind of got used to it, I think. Uh well, I'm not very good at shooting at the minute. Dog roll. Yes. Where to next? Where art thou? Yes. It's my first Death day. Death is meaningless for us all. Now we can be reborn from the depths. Memories retained as splinters of our fractured self. But we fear the other, that which remains tied to us. You must become the other, relive the lives of those lost. In order to discover the truth, we must start at the beginning with an ambitious heart. A first heartbeat will grow into a thousand consequences. Mm. A good position amongst several currents makes Dunkel a favored stop for traders seeking to circumvent Imperial tariffs. A natural harbor, Dunkel has survived longer than many other settlements along the fringes of Imperial control and boasts its own small mining concession along the moor. Chapter preview. This chapter serves as a slow introduction to the world and its mysteries. There is no conflict between factions at this time. You are free to explore the world. The main storyline can be found at Dunkel. Limited side missions. No hostile territories. Main em enemies. Pirates. Recommended level 0 to 8. Okay. Choose now what stories and memories await you. What can be gleaned from these lives? Let's go with this dude. This dude, more than any other time, this dude is gonna find a way. Ascend. On the Earthsea, the Imperial Houses rule. The Mansoroda researches, maintains, and controls technology. And the common people, well, they do the work, fish the Earthsea, trade between its settlements, and ultimately always suffer from the fragile balance of power 
between the Imperium and the Mensa Order. Few people are more aware of this than the people of Dunkel. A speck on the Ursi, and barely a glimmer on the titanic struggles of the Great Houses. This part of the Ursi has been plagued by pirates and criminals who find a welcome home far enough away from the Imperial law to do as they please. Done. 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 Any Greenhorn must get familiar with our holdings and our neighbors. You will start with a wide patrol. Acclimatize yourself with the area and deal with any threats. Okay. You're new here. I've selected a number of tasks and locations that are important for you to be aware of. Bombing training, jet streams, updrafts and fish. Okay. We have some good. We have someone dropping mines over trade routes going into Dunkle. This is a good opportunity for you to learn some handy tricks. Start mission. Am I going the wrong way? I'll keep looking at the map and thinking that I'm going a particular direction when I'm not. Hold A to land. Okay, let's have a look at landing and see what's. See what happens when you land. Please complete your current assignment first. Okay. There they are. Dive into the water close to a mine and your bird will pick it up. Oh, okay. Drop it on something solid. You can also try and bounce them. Some will speed up and the moment bounce. How do I drop it? Throw the remaining mine so they explode. Don't hit anyone, then we can head back. How do I drop it? <laughs> How do, do I just. Ah. Right, it's R1 to drop. Oh, right, so what I need to do is kind of bounce it. Ready, steady, go! Missed the explosion, but there. I'll get the. Uh, I'll get the theory now. Right, let's see if I can find some more mines. Here, miney, miney, mineys. Here, mineys. Come on, mineys. Oh, there we go. Where's one? Where's one? There's one. There's one. Right, here we come and come in. Now we go. Right. If I can hit that one with this one. Good stuff. Should have a little countdown of how many mines are left because I don't actually know. There's one over there. I'm gonna find a way to blow up all these mines. I don't think it made it that one. Okay, I'll have to turn. I need a sharp turn, don't I? Well, look, there it is. Just didn't make it. It's alright. Right, am I still looking for one more then? Or a few more? Oh, mission complete. Return. Kind of getting the hang now of flying, just as I fly into a rock. I'm gonna find a way.
Where am I meant to land then? Yeah. Oh, I have to kind of get into the Done, 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 done. Destroyed flying targets, destroyed fixed targets. 99 out of 100. Okay. Well done. We need to be inventive with a pirate threat. You're not going to see any Imperials lobbing mines around, that's for sure. It's a damn fine tactic against pirates, even though it's embarrassing. Okay. Any greenhorn must get familiar <clears throat> with our holdings and our neighbours. You will start with a wire patrol. Yeah, did that. Right, so you're only now select a number of tasks. Bombing training, jet streams, updrafts and fish. Noticed you've been relying on your birds diving to build up speed and energy. How about you find some updrafts to boost you along instead or even hit a ride on a jet stream. I also want to see you do some fishing and feed your bird. Right, okay. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, do it, do it. Let's go up, 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 up. Through here. Turn that away. We're gonna find a way to get to the waypoint. I'm gonna press on um, LB and it gives you a little kind of boost. Find an updraft low on the water and use it to go upwards. Here we go. Woohoo! That's pretty cool. Onward, new objective. What's that question mark? Can I have a look at it while I'm doing this? Oh, look, there's another one there. Another updraft. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I like that. Let me go and have a look at this question mark. Batis, civilian 2 out of 13. I love discovering things in video games especially like that noise it makes in Fallout when you find a new place love it alright what's this it's just a normal ship here we go here we go here we here we here we go find a jet stream high in the air and ride it think it's going to be that blue marker on the um, map right yeah look, that's a jet stream coming in nearly there Okay. That feels very serene to be up here. The music changes as you go higher by the looks of it. Which is very cool. Um I want to go to that little question mark. See what's over there. Have a little dive, 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 dive. dive. Dive, dive, dive. Right. That's going to be what I see on the map. What is it? It is... Cartahon. Oh, 
Well, I'm going the right way as well, which is quite handy. So that's cool. Let's go up, 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 up. Catch a fish and eat it for energy or health boost. Okay. How do I fish? Catch a fish. Catch a fish and eat it for energy, health boost. Any fishies? I'm assuming I just kind of dive in, right? I catch a fish. Do I have to kind of aim at it or here, fishy wishy? Not sure how I'll catch a fish. Just swoop in or what? Don't really get that. Right, there must be a um, controls to say how you do it. Uh, lock target, dash and roll, use pyro, target tracking, wingman, wingman guard, flight controls, left stick. Inverted controls, camera controls, inverted camera. It doesn't say how I catch a fish. Am I missing something here? Okay. That's how I would expect it. Kind of dive in, because I picked up a bomb when I dove in last time. I can't pick up a fish, pick, pick up a penguin. Uh, no. Maybe I have to dive in. I'm going to go straight up and then spin around. Go straight down. Did I catch anything? It wouldn't appear to be... Oh, how'd you catch a fish? Man! Right, okay, I don't know how to catch a fish. I'm going to look around and see if I can uh, explore the area. Anything cool over here? Keep Oceanus. 45 position, 1 of 12. Oh. Not being able to catch a fish is now getting on my nerves. So let's see if I can rectify this situation. Makes it sound so easy. Catch a fish and eat it for energy or a health boost. Okay, but what button do I have to press in order to catch a fish? Carlos, catch a fish. Coming down, coming down, coming down, down, down. Oh, look, updraft. Nice. Tell you how. Maybe I kind of just drift in. No. Nope. No. Nope. Do I just need to shoot it? It seems a bit odd. Why would I sh Seems 
a bit odd with what we're trying to do here. I don't really want to shoot it and <laughs> disintegrate it. Maybe that would cook it. Did I get one? I did. I'm not sure how I did, but I did. Right. Okay. I think I kind of just dipped in there and got a fish, but I swear I was doing that beforehand anyway. But anyway, I'll have to get used to that. Practice makes perfect and all that. Um, right, let's go back to Dunkel. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite three percent accuracy <laughs> oh well I've got me reward that's what matters right okay so I've done bombing I've done jet streams biochemist supplies the biochemist that Kithera have sent out a request for supplies. Make sure they get them. You will find their services tempting, but I have yet to see a world bird look better after their treatments. Hmm. Right, here we go. Should travel to the waypoint. Oh, I'm carrying something to them. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see if I can get higher up. And try and follow that jet stream over there. What was it to drop? RB. I can't remember now. If I want to do the jet stream, I need to go higher, then I. There's the jet stream up there. Let's go high, 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 high. Here we go. Going through the keyhole. Right, here we go, here we go. Anything new? This looks new. And it's just a bit of rock. Jutting out. Oh, sugar. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> now, where is it? Oh, man. Is that it? No, that ain't it. That's a blooming. That's a mine. Oh, gold. Oh, look, there it is. It's on the, um, it's on the map. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Right, I'm okay. As you were, as you were. Jeez, don't press the R1, um, RB button when you're holding something. Wow, what's this? Is this more undiscovered? areas kind of hidden by cloud like a f 
fog. They've got the sereneness of flight down to a T, haven't they? And this is looks really cool. Right, let's give myself a little boost and go up. Up, up, up. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest heights. Let's go fly a kite. This might be another new area. Oh, there's an updraft. Let's get into that. Whoosh. It's cool. New area. Fort Mundy. 45 position, 2 out of 12. Which I'm assuming those forts come to my aid in some shape or form as we're going to battle. I'll get up here, I can get on a draft here, look. Well, my son, this should push us in the right direction as well. If I can just get up there, nice cruising down, cruising, 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 flapping away. Land at Biochemist Kytera and deliver the item. Okay. I think I can do that. Get me A ready. Biochemist Kytera, civilian 4 out of 13. A to land. Ah, fresh supplies and just in time. We've got something brewing that needs them. Right, cool. Easy enough. As a token of our appreciation, pay us a visit in the future and we can vastly improve the power and the abilities of your warbird. The Imperium relies on our services to maintain the upper hand in combat. So should you. Okay. Mission complete. Return to Cinder. Right, which way? That way. Go up, 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 up. It was a bit of a long flight though, wasn't it? I kind of feel like there needs to be a bit more speed when you're trying to sort of do um, busy work, delivering items, etc. It's not great to have to go at this pace. Oh, you can hold A to fly ahead. Right, sorry, didn't see that. And then that gets you back to where, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. If you're going to do like um, delivery missions, the last thing you want to be doing is going all that way and then having to go all the way back to base to complete it. So, yeah, that's a clever idea. Have a little fast forward button that allows you to get close to home. All right, what are we doing? We'll find the place to land now. There we go. 99% accuracy, yeah. Lovely stuff. We continue to keep the biochemists happy, but be wary of them. They're a strange lot in a strange place. Right, I say we do one more mission. I'm liking this so far. Um, seems very cool. Sea Chantress Festival. Sea Chantresses are preparing a festival. It would be unwise of us not to donate to them. They offer vital healing services and their chance to improve our warbirds. Okay. So we're basically keeping people happy at the minute. Up, 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 up. The 
kind of thunderstorm ahead. Zuta law. Gotta get through this. Gotta get through this. There we go. Oh, have some more. Thought well, I was out of it, if I'm honest. Obviously not. There we go. We're through the storm. Wow, what's that? Maduin. Civilian, 5 out of 13. Okay, so it's like a countdown of the places to discover by the looks of it. Be good to have an indicator of how far you've got to go as well on the map. Like X kilometers, feet, whatever to the uh, next waypoint. <clears throat> find that useful in Cyberpunk when you're sort of trying to work out whether you should walk or get in a car and then it sort of says oh, one kilometre so you think alright car required a few hundred feet okay I can run that walk that Let's see if I can get that jet stream up there There she is. Jet the stream, jet the stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. Volatile, we're in it. Hey, Chawamba. At what point can I land? Why don't leave me alone? I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Perfecto. Thank you. This offering is greatly appreciated. Tell your master to provide one of your tokens to you. We can provide a chance to unlock the deeper talents of yourself and your warbird. However, our services require contemplation at the ancient shrines on the URC. Make sure you visit these and honour the water before you visit us. Cool. Right. Mission complete. Now I've got to get out of this storm again. God blimey. I wonder if I go higher if I can kind of get out of it. I don't think so by the looks of it. Oh my word. Old A to fly ahead. I think that's a good idea. Fantastic work. Right, okay. That is my 10 minute taster. Cracking game by the looks of it. Really well made. Um, would have liked a bit more voice acting actually on the, the side characters. That would have been cool. But apart from that, this is a game you can get stuck right into. Looks as though you've got plenty of exploration and plenty of uh, flying mechanics to master which is all good so I'm gonna call a halt to the 10 minute taster there hopefully you've liked the video press like if you like the video because the more likes we get the more likely we are to get new games into the games freezer so as we can take a look at them for you also subscribe to the channel same reason more subscribers more games we can play so as you don't have to take a chance on something that you might not like you get to see it here first on the 10 minute tasters follow us at games freezer um, on twitter and instagram and also go to www.gamesfreezer.co.uk for all our other articles that we put up throughout the year we're there every day with a different article just for you on video games retro gaming indie gaming you name it we do it but until next time my friends it's goodbye from the games freezer <laughs>